We couldn't do our job if it wasn't for the information and the tips that you all as a community provide to us, your Sheriff's Office, in keeping our community safe and such a great place to live. Thanks for joining us. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. Jerry Lincoln Hunnell. In 2008, Hunnell was charged with several charges, including the kidnapping of a child. When the case went to circuit court, Hunnell pled guilty to one charge, contribute to delinquent condition of a child and placed on probation. By December of 2012, a circuit court bench warrant was issued when Hummel had violated his probation by failing to report to his agent and not paying restitution, court costs, and also change his residence without permission. Hummel's last known address was Normal School Road in Bowie, but previously he's lived in Riverdale, Hyattsville, and Ocean City, Maryland. Hummel's 45 years old, he's a white male, and often has a full beard. If you have any information on Mr. Hunnell, you're urged to contact authorities as soon as possible. It's deadbeat parent time. We've received a circuit court body attachment for Frederick Franklin Kirsch, charging him with failing to appear for an October 2012 non-support hearing. Kirsch is a white male, 31 years old. He's six foot three inches tall and weighs 225 pounds with brown hair and blue eyes. Kirsch has a last known address of Lupine Lane in Denton. It's not always fathers anymore that have non-support cases. Stephanie Addy Crew is wanted for failing to appear for a contempt hearing, reference to non-support payments. Crew is five foot two inches tall, she's a white female, and her weight is listed at 250 pounds. She's 40 years old. Crew is living in the Salisbury Del Mar area and may be driving a 1996 Honda two-door. I know I've got a following in the Salisbury Delmore area for all of our most wanted persons. Please take this time to share this down there with all of your friends. This is one young lady we can bring to justice. Timothy Allen Everett, wanted on a 2012 arrest warrant for an October theft of a 2000 Kubota tractor and the attempted theft of a four-wheeler from Bell Nursery outside of Sudlersville. Everett is a 29-year-old white male He's five foot nine inches tall and 150 pounds. He has brown hair and blue eyes. Records indicate that he may have a tattoo on his left arm. He's had addresses in Legion Road in Millington, Main Street in Sudlersville, and Hartley, Delaware. Everett has worked in the past as a carpet installer and a warehouse worker at an egg farm. Anton Kenneth Richardson. In March of 2004, Richardson was stopped for speeding on a 2004 Suzuki on Route 50 near Jackson Creek Road by a Maryland State Trooper. A check with Motor Vehicle Administration indicated that he was also suspended. After requesting a jury trial, Richardson failed to appear when the circuit court trial was scheduled in January of 2005. The last known address for Anton Richardson was on West Fayette Street in Baltimore. Richardson is an African American male. He's now 33 years old. MVA records indicate and show him to be six foot and 225 pounds. If you have information on Anton Richardson, you're urged to contact the Sheriff's Office. I want to take this time to thank all of our viewers, especially the ones who help us make this show possible, those at QAC TV7 and the Queen Anne's County Commissioners for their support of this program. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.